All right, uh, Natasha is off today. Uh, Steve is in for us, and the yep. main weather cell is passed, and the weather is so that's important right. in these times that we're dealing with right now. Yeah, boy, we had a lot of rain and wind today that's moved off to the south and east this evening, so it's kind of the quiet in between two systems. We've got another one coming in on Friday, and we'll have more details on that in just a second. Live outside right now, 58 degrees in Seaside, east wind at 3 miles per hour. Boy, it was a rainy day out there along the coast. But it's all quiet out there tonight. I think I see the moon just above the hillside there. Okay, current conditions back here in downtown Portland. A few scattered showers around right now. Humidity 93%. That uh, wind still blowing south at 15 miles per hour. It's backed off from what it was earlier today. I think we're going to get rid of the rain here in the next hour. Any showers left over will be uh, getting out of here and will be quieting down this evening. Actually, let's go back to that graphic right there. Yeah, current wind speeds now. 15 in Portland. Boy, they've really quieted down along the coast and in the southern end of the valley. Uh, a little bit over there on the east side, maybe 15, 20 miles per hour, but not that significant. Okay, peak gusts for today. There's a 43 at Eugene, 47 out in Astoria, so a good fall storm. Uh, 27 in Portland, 36 miles per hour. That was a peak gust there in Salem. All right, live radar shows what's left of our front is uh, falling apart now up in the Cascades. We've got a few scattered showers just moving over the metro area here, south side through uh, Oregon City can be stretching out to Corbett and Troutdale. It'll continue to move off to the east northeast this evening. As we widen it out there, big upper level low spinning around. We've got a few scattered thunderstorms up on Vancouver Island and just off the coast. They'll continue to push inland tonight, but we've got a break tomorrow morning. Those scattered showers are going to push into the area, but then we're going to keep our eye on that next system out there. That's due in on Friday before we can finally turn this thing around coming up this uh, weekend. Okay, three quarters of an inch at PDX, 0.61 there at Vancouver, and uh, one, geez, about to one and three quarters of an inch out there at Astoria today, uh, Newport about an inch. Pretty quiet over there on the east side of the state, though, with uh, just a few one hundredths of an inch. Okay, 66 was the high. That's all we could muster at PDX. 74 is normal for this time of the year. 68 in Vancouver. But boy, look at that. Eugene, 83 degrees. They drew up that south wind out of California ahead of the front. And they warmed up nicely in the southern end of the valley today. And a nice day actually early on in the day over on the central and east side of the state with temperatures mostly in the uh, 80s over there. Okay, uh, just a few more rain showers tonight, but then here we go through Friday evening. We got another round of rain coming in with that next system. Then as we move ahead, check out that seven day forecast. We'll call it showers tomorrow, chance of a thunderstorm. And then that next system, it'll be a quick hitting one. On Friday morning, we'll keep the temperatures cool, though. Temperatures in the low 60s on Friday. And then we'll warm it up and break it out uh, this weekend. Saturday and Sunday are looking a little bit better. And if we can hold on to next week, boy, we got some nice weather coming next week with temperatures up into the 80s, guys. What a warm-up on the way, Steve. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> coming up, local leaders.